What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news coming at you guys, just like we had the other day. If you guys do remember, we did a couple videos now about the new WWE Fan Elite Takeover line, or the WWE Mattel Elite Fan Takeover line, if you will. And basically, it is a series where the fans get to vote on what figures we want. So they select the character, unfortunately. They do get to select the character, which is give or take, whatever you guys want to say. I mean, it, it if you're disappointed about that, well, they pick every character anyway. So it's just like, at least they give us some sort of choice here. But uh, they, they, they select the character, and then they give us a few choices on what attire or moment or, you know, event we want to have in elite figure form from Mattel. So you guys know that the first figure in this set was going to be Seth Rollins. We took a closer look at that. Then we revealed a couple days ago that Adam Cole and then Ricky the Dragon Steamboat would be the second and third options in this wave. Well, we finally have the final figure in this wave for Series 1. So there's going to be Series 1. It's going to feature four total figures. And the last figure in this set is... <laughs> Uh, the last figure in this set is unfortunately, in my personal opinion, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. It is going to be Shayna Baszler. Yes, Shayna Baszler, you guys can see right here. Action Figure Attack did post this on his story. It says the final fan vote option for Elite Fan Takeover Series 1 is live. You can see there it has the three options. You have sort of like a navyish, bluish, greenish kind of color. Kind of a weird attire on the left there for Shayna. In the middle you have pretty much what I would imagine her first figure kind of look like. Like that seems very strange similar to what her first figure was it just has a little bit of glitter on it and then the right side is a red attire which uh her first figure was a red attire so it seems to me that the one on the left would be the only one that's significantly different but Shayna Baszler is the final figure in this elite fan takeover line and I don't know about you guys but honestly kind of bummed out about this news you know uh, Shayna Baszler is uh you know I I, I don't know I, I'm not a big fan of her work if you guys follow the channel you know I'm not a big fan of Shayna Baszler I think she does bring some somewhat of legitimacy, like, you know, with her MMA background and everything like that. I just feel like, uh, I don't know, she's just, I'm, she just puts on boring matches to me. I feel like uh, there's much more talented or many more talented women in the division as far as a collective unit. I feel like she reminds me a lot of Trash Corbin, to be honest with you, in my personal opinion. Uh, just, I don't know, just very boring, just very bland. However, you can take her more serious than Trash Corbin. Trash Corbin is more of a high school bully. She kind of reminds me of that, you know, that high school bully esque type deal but um you know that's besides the point we're just talking about the figures here today but unfortunately this is what we're getting and I don't know I could have I would have liked to seen like a Bianca Belair you know elite or or something like that maybe even a new you know Dakota Kai or somebody else just any other women's figure that we do not have yet I feel like would have worked better here because we've seen Shayna before and she's one of my least favorite women's talents so that's what kind of bums me out the most about this but in, in all in all, let's take a look at the series here. So it looks to me like this is going to be our series. I don't know what the final vote was for the Shayna Baszler. Um, I really, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. I, I'll probably get it anyways to review for you guys, but I really, I really don't care what the attire is, but let's go ahead and look at the others. So for Adam Cole, he was the second figure in the set. It looks like we're going to be getting option B. So we are going to have an Adam Cole Elite in this black and gold attire. You know, I still don't know why this figure won the vote. I could have sworn it would be the War Games attire in the camo and yellow. To match Roderick Strong, they could bring us a Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly two-pack elites in the War Games attire. Then we'd have a full pack, a full four set elite set of our Undisputed Era in War Games attire. I thought that would have been a perfect release. It would have been excellent. You could have fit Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish right into that. And anybody who missed out on the epic moments would have a beautiful set of Undisputed Era right there. However, that is not what happened. We got option B right here, which isn't a big deal. But now the only way you could match everything. I doubt we're going to get a Roderick Strong anytime soon again. And then Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. I guess maybe they could release another two-pack in their matching attires to this gear. I don't know, man. We're just going to have to play that by ear, but it looks like the first figure in the set will be this Adam Cole in the gold and black or the yellow and black, whatever you want to say. The next figure, guys, is going to be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is going to be in his WrestleMania 3 gear, it looks like, 
I can't remember if this was the final vote, but it kind of led by 12%, so I highly doubt anything was going to change the voting for this. But, of course, you had Starcade 1993, WrestleMania 3, and WrestleMania 25. It does look like the WrestleMania 3 figure one, which I could have sworn we already had a figure of. Like, I could have sworn it was in that flashback exclusive Walmart set. But that set was really hard to come by. Like, I feel like that set never really got distributed the way it was supposed to be. It just seemed like nobody could find that. You know, the, the Harley race from this wave, that... Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the Stone Cold, and even the Build-A-Figure Shawn Michaels. I can't remember what the last figure in the set was, but um, that set right there was really hard to come by. It seemed like nobody really got it, and if you have it now, especially the Harley Race, it goes for a pretty penny. It goes for like two, three hundred dollars in the packaging, so it's kind of ridiculous. But we are going to be getting Adam Cole in the gold and black. We're going to be getting Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in the WrestleMania 3 gear, which, again, I pulled it up on the screen for you guys. I could have sworn we've had this figure. If that's not from WrestleMania 3, it's very, very similar. It, exa like, it's pretty much the exact same figure. Maybe we'll get a new head sculpt or something to make the figure a little bit differently. Um, moving on, or it could just be completely different. I could be completely wrong there. But moving on, guys, the other figure is Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins... I do not know which one won because I voted for the Thanos attire. I really wanted the Thanos attire. You guys know we put up a video about it. And it seemed to me, I could have sworn when I last checked this, we saw that the WrestleMania 35 gear was winning the fan vote. So the black and gold attire right there. Again, I've mentioned it in many videos that I have a custom of both the... Well, I have a custom of all three, but I have a really well-made custom of the uh, Survivor Series 2019, the Chicago Bulls attire. And then I have another well-made custom in the WrestleMania 35 gear. So I really, really wanted an official Mattel release of the Thanos gear from SummerSlam 2018. But it does not seem like the fans or the rest of the people in the community really wanted that gear. I guess because we got it in Basic 102. But I feel like if they made it in Elite form it would have been a lot better i feel like it would have been really really sick i really wanted that figure man so it's really unfortunate maybe they could plug it in somewhere else maybe they were looking for you know i i know that i think seth rollins is supposed to be a part of elite series 78 when we finally get it so if elite series 78 is going to be seth rollins then maybe they can plug you know the 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 survivor series gear or the SummerSlam 2018 gear into that wave if that's what comes forward but we have so many Seth Rollins and, you know, all these things are getting pushed back and back due to the pandemic sweeping across the nation. Who knows what, you know, when we're going to get to Elite Series 78 and then, you know, is is are the figures going to change based on how much time we have to put off? You know, I, I don't know if, you know, they're even getting produced. I don't know if they're going to be shipping out. I know they're delayed already, but... I wonder if, you know, this could take an effect on which figures are in which lines because it's getting pushed back and they're not making it to shelves and into collections already. I don't know. That's just something to think about there. But really unfortunate that we're not going to get the Thanos attire. Everybody that I know in my circle was voting for the Thanos. I know that. Um, some people didn't, but for the majority, it was like 95% of the people I saw wanted the Thanos, but that is not what took place in the tweet. I don't know if they weren't voting. I don't know what the hell was going on right there, but it does look like we're going to get the WrestleMania 35 gear, but maybe we'll get Survivor Series 2019 or Thanos uh, as higher down the line. And SummerSlam 2018, that would have been perfect, man. Maybe they could plug it into a SummerSlam wave, which is supposed to be Elite Series 77 this year, because you guys know we canceled the, uh, you know, the, the SummerSlam wave that used to come out every year, you know, every it, it featured like four figures. Um, it used to have Ballard and Mankind in it. It had, you know, Dean Ambrose and Seth in it. Uh, Matt Hardy and Edge, like that wave, got moved into a regular release wave, which was Elite Series 68 last year. This year, it's Elite Series 77. That wave is full, and I think Seth Rollins is in Elite Series 78. So, I don't know, man. Just a lot of stuff to, to figure out here. But that is the final figures in the wave. We have four figures in the wave. I'm excited to see what Series 2 is. So, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see about that. But we did have... Uh, Adam Cole, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Seth Rollins, and Shayna Baszler. Now, for some reason, it just popped in my head. I'm thinking that maybe there was a Big Show vote, or maybe that was a long time ago that Big Show had a vote. Maybe I'm thinking of the Fan Central line. That's probably what I'm thinking of, but I don't know why that popped in my head all of a sudden. But I remember Big Show getting a vote, and I think we ended up getting that beautiful Fan Central Elite that is damn nice. That, that figure is very, very good. But anyways, that just popped in my head for some final reason. But let me know down below, guys. What do you guys think? Do you like the Adam Cole attire? Do you like the Ricky the Dragon? What do you think about Shayna Baszler being the final figure in the wave? And what do you think about the Seth 
Rollins deal. Um, really want that Thanos gear. Really, really, really want the SummerSlam 2018. I think they'd kill it with the entrance vest and, you know, the, the attire itself. I really wanted that. I felt like the basic was too green anyway. It's like the colors weren't right. I would really like to see it in the gray, purplish color and then with the gold boot and everything. Even if they left off the Infinity Stones, it would still be a really nice gear to see. And uh, we could always paint that or customize that or curb... <laughs> <laughs> or curb stump could easily make us decals or something to put on there so i don't really don't, i don't know man it's, it'd be easy to fix but anyways guys i'm getting the hell out of here let me know what you think of the full wwe fan takeover elite line coming in 2021 which is which is so far away like when you think about that maybe it'll come very beginning of the year is what i'm guessing maybe it'll come like right at january 2021 but anyways guys i'm getting the hell out of here if we get any more action figure news i will definitely post it up to you guys but thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you